Hey everyone, Mark Thomas Rob, aka Farm Boy. Um, gonna start being known now as the Media Man. Uh, this was something I got made for the weekend for Clash at the Castle, just so, so I could wear around uh, Cardiff, so people could know who I am, start following. Uh, it's just something new. Gonna try and start get being known as the Media Man because of all the wrestling. All the other media I got, like I said, retro modern VHS DVDs and all that. Looking to get into event vlogs. Didn't film a lot for Clash, so there probably won't be one for for Clash at the castle. But I have got a Comic Con in November for Liverpool, so I'll probably try and do one then. So, like I said, this is a merch pickup, and the first bit of merch. That didn't cost me well it cost me the me ticket is me ringside seat uh this is mine from uh ringside uh well six rows back i was originally meant to be in m32 uh row 11 seats 27 28 because it was me and a friend um but we ended up upgrading on the wednesday before the event to section d3 uh, row 6 seat 16 and 17 so this is seat 16 from row 6 we were behind Tyson Fury six uh, five rows behind Tyson Fury so nice chair I believe this is the only UK pay-per-view padded chair um, I don't think we ever got any for rebellion or insurrections if we do I've never seen any uh, ringside seats started in 94 or WrestleMania 10 so uh, very nice to have. I'm glad I got one in my collection. Um, glad I didn't have to pay any extra, like all the stupid prices they're going for. And uh, no, it's not for sale. Because um, I got a couple of chairs myself. I got Mania 17, 16, and 34. Um, gonna get a 33 sometime. But yeah, this ain't for sale. Uh, any sale comments, I will probably remove. Not to be horrible, but yeah. So getting into the merch, like I said, this was one thing I bought for myself. Um, if you see me around, come say hello. If you see me at another event, future events, just walking around anywhere in the world, come say hello. So starting off with the event t-shirts, uh, I did get both. I, I was there. Uh, this one is uh, two sizes too small for me. Um, hopefully in the future it won't because I have been losing their weight. Uh, personal friends of mine will know um so this is the roman drew one the more colorful one which on the back it's got uh i was there in like uh welsh flag colors next one is the red one classic castle with the welsh dragon on and on the back it's got i was there this one does fit me um next we got uh, pop figures that I managed to find um, I didn't get Bianca or uh, think it was Dude Love because they don't have no stickers on so I can get them anytime um, these had the American stickers on so that's why I got them so Lesnar's new one DX2 pack and NWA 3 pack uh, next is the Welsh Dragon plushie uh, I got this because I do have the teddies for WrestleMania 33 and 34 uh bit disappointed that there was no collector cups e.g like um like there's me 30 running your 34 one we had nothing like that which was a bit disappointing yeah there was a pint pint mug but it didn't look that nice so i never bothered with it uh, sorry about that, the cup's just fell down. Um, next is the clear tote bag. Um, got it because I do have 33, 34 and the WWE logo one. Next is two hats. Uh, the Clash at the Castle one, which is my second one because the first one got nicked during the event. Uh, I know who done it. There are some people sat near us and they wanted us to move. Um, we said no. Um, I think they nicked my hat afterwards. Um, the next one is the WWE one with the Union Jack on the bottom. 
Uh, not wore that one yet. Next is the event program. A uh, very good program. No, like, match listings. Which I can understand more because the card changed. Because Cody was meant to be on there. And all that. But very good. Uh, the funny thing I thought was... Um, where... Pat got a full page. And then Legendary Ring announced Michael Cole. And when you got just over half. I thought that was quite funny to be honest. But... It's a shame that he's leaving. Uh, hopefully he'll come back. Uh, next is the I Was There pin badge, uh, which I've seen go for ridiculous prices on eBay. Next is the Castle luggage tag, which I doubt I ever use as a luggage tag. Might just hang it like so it goes on the wall. See, something like that. And next is the Welsh Dragon Clash of the Castle magnet. Uh, next is items I got to get out, so the video will be paused and I'll get them out. So, sorry about the pulls, but I had to get them out. First is the Clash at the Castle side plates. Uh, got these in the Superstore on the Friday. Uh, luckily, they still had some left. Um, quite nice design, red and white for the Welsh flag. Same on the back with the hologram. Uh, open up and you've got Clash at the Castle side plates. Very nice. Nice to go with me 33 and 34 Mania one. Next is the standard, that's the cardboard sleeve that goes over it, is the standard mini belt. Uh, I got this at the Superstore because the special went there, but I managed to get it outside the stadium on the Friday. Nice uh, feel to the box, plain black box. And opens up, you get a nice reddish, it looks like orangey here, but it is red. It's like a reddy orange um, classic castle belt. Black on the back with the Welsh dragon, the hologram, and the crystals sticker. So very nice. And then everybody probably know what's coming up next. There's the cardboard sleeve that went over it. This is the castle edition. Uh, luckily I managed to get one of these so it opens up and you've got that bit there which saying I was there nice black belt so and then it opens up to uh, the Welsh flag on the inside so, very nice, and then it just slots back in, slots back in, so very nice. There was another belt that was for the VIP only, so, um, don't think I'll ever pick one of them up unless I see one go cheap. Um, but yeah, that's my merchandise haul from Clash at the Castle. A uh, very good event. Uh, glad I went. Um, hopefully they'll be back next year. Um, I have heard some rumours. Don't know if they're true, so I'm not going to spread them here. Um, but they can all be found on the dirt sheets and all the wrestling sites and all that. So hopefully what we're getting next year, if we do get it, it's going to be phenomenal. Um, middle of August. Um because Clash won't be on the start of September because they got a motorbike event in the Piccadilly Stadium if they do, do it in Cardiff again. So, like I said, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Um, hopefully, I'll try and get this Media Man stuff off. Please follow on the other pages. Um, I'll put all the links to everything in the description. And I'll see you for a video very soon.